Fighters are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Canadians start with possession as we are now underway. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed down low. Quick feed down low. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Markov. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Montreal's ready to go on the attack. Sends the pass over. Scrum along the wall. Markov's got it against the boards. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. And he takes the feed. Markov's got it in the offensive zone. Tries to the crease. Decides to think about it. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Montreal's got possession of the puck. The Penguins go to work on offense. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Moves it to Lang. Grabs control of it at the point. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. Wrists one, and that's blocked away. Handles it behind the net. Slides it back to the blue line. Receives the pass. Good hit on the play. Slides the puck across to Fedotenko. The Penguins play it along the boards. Quick feed to Fedotenko. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow! Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Boucher's truculent zone ability is that willingness to play that hard and heavy brand of hockey, guys. He can really pressure his opponents into making bad plays with a hard body check. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Cad save. He's on it tonight. Price is going to wait for a breather as he swallows up the puck. Well, now everybody can get themselves back to their square one position. I mean, it was starting to look a little ragged in the defensive zone. It's a good play by the goaltender. Stalls won the draw here in the offensive zone. Let's it go. Denied by the puck stopper. He reacts late, but he makes a save through traffic. Cook's known to put pressure on the puck carrier with a big body check, guys. He wears down the opposition with his truculent zone ability. Lapierre's won the draw inside his own end. Here's a short pass to D'Agostini. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Sends a pass over. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And the redirect goes awry. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center, right in the slot. Makes the pass save, although he might have got a piece of it with his foot. He's been really good on these high danger chances. And here's another one right from the slot. But he's tracked that puck to keep it in front of him and make the save. LaPierre's got the puck. Takes a shot. Glove save by the goalie. That's a great A chance, and the goaltender beats the shooter with the glove. Dead center turned away. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Still no score in this one. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Moves it quickly over to Talbot. Nice pass. The Canadians look to start the transition game. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Center and feed. Off the stick and they can't complete the play. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Here he is shot right in front. And a nice save there as play continues. 
Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. Moves into the slot. Nice save from point blank range. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Montreal's in on the offensive attack now. Quick pass to Kunitz. The Canadians get a hold of the puck. On the attack along the boards. Stones him in front. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Cuts into the paint. Off his stick. And that goes off a body. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Into the attacking area from the left side. He's got a step. And that fizzles out. I'm not sure what his intention was going to be there, James, but he ran out of real estate. Poked away at center by Gonchar. Play whistle dead offside the call. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Gains the zone from the right. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here they come up along the wing. Moves it to the middle. Dishes it off again here. And that doesn't reach the net. Oh, Trevor saved by Fleury. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. Here in the late goings of the period, still looking for our first goal. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Slides it over to Fedotenko. Puck exits the zone. Two on one. Moves it to Latang. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. And he takes the dish. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Slides the pass over to Markov. Gains the zone on the left wing. Sends the pass in front. And that's stopped. Flurry's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Crosby's a big part of this club's offense, guys. His teammates always get a boost when he scores. His born leader zone ability really pumps up the squad. Pittsburgh's won the face off deep in their own end. The Canadians have it against the wall. Takes the shot. Great save, played it perfect. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Poked away in the neutral zone by Koivu. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. And now he angles it across to Adams. Dumps the puck in. Slides it to Tange. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Both teams still feeling each other out as we are scoreless here to start the second. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? I'd like to see somebody get a little aggressive here offensively. There's nothing going on in this scoreless game. Feeds the puck across to Gonchar. There's a solid collision. Grabbed along the board by Gonchar. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. And some textbook body contact there. Breakaway! Scores! What a finish on the breakaway! Breakaways are so interesting. You've got to go fast to get clear. 
clear, then you've got to slow your brain down to make the right decision. What a finish. Oh, what a delivery. I mean, if you can shoot the puck like that, why would you ever deep? What a quick shot, and that's in the net. The Penguins have built themselves a one-goal lead here in the second. Let's see if they can build on it now. They'd like to take control of the game if they can. They now have the one-goal margin, but they want to stretch it out. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Oh, wow, that had some hot sauce on that collision. Did it ever, James. I mean, you could see he was raring to get a hit in to try and change a little bit of the... They get a chance to change the complexion of this game. That's a big goal to even the score. Goalie gets a little bit of this, almost beat cleanly, but it's not going to matter. It's in the net anyway. The Canadians are on the board. They have tied things up here in the second. They've worked hard to get this game back to level. Montreal's won the draw. Quick feed to Lang. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Lush the puck back into the neutral zone. And that was stopped. The Penguins move it ahead. From the back of the cage with the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. And he easily stops that one. The Canadians take it along the wall. Montreal's on the attack. Overrising hit in the corner, and he's going to feel that the rest of the game. To the low slot. Here's a shot. And that caroms off a body in the lane. The Canadians take it along the wing. Here's a shot, quick to stop. Back to the blue line. Pittsburgh's grabbed a hold of the puck. The Penguins are across the line and into the offensive end. Oh, you gotta love the effort as he blocks that. Montreal's in transition. LaPierre's got it along the wing. And that's blocked from someone in front. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Pittsburgh's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Poked away in the defensive end. Higgins has it along the boards. Here's an odd man rush. It's a two on one. And he rings the post. Montreal still tied in this game, yet they've had no luck. Another post. Skates to the crease. Whoa. Now you got the lead, don't sit back. Get right back to the face-off and try and attack again. Guys are always working on getting rid of the puck quicker and quicker and quicker. I mean, it can't come off a stick any quicker than this, and the, the goalie just can't keep up from this close range. The Penguins get in front here in the second. It's been a pretty tight game, not much on either side, but they've got the lead now. Pittsburgh's won it. Here's a short pass to Orpik. Tries to get it to Talbot. The Penguins carry it along the wall. And that's broken up. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Throws it in. The Penguins have it from their own end. Oh, and that battle ends as the puck gets loose. Oh, this is turned into demolition. Derby night after that collision. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Sends it in on the attack. The Canadians gain possession. Good battle along the boards for the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Kamasarek. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Turns it aside with the glove. Slides the puck over. Poked away at center by Coyle. Takes it into oh. the slot. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Whoa, James. I don't know what that sounded like up there, but from here, that sounded like a car crash. Shot. Oh, what a save with the 
with the club by Flurry. Past the halfway mark of this period, it's a 2 1 game. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Feeds it on over to Kunitz. Here's a shot. That goes off a twig. Straight up the middle. Here they come. And a little body contact on that play. Steps inside the line. Battle along the wall. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Kostitsin. Absolutely rocks him on the play, and that sends a message to the bench. Puck dumped in. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. The Canadians have it now. Moves it to Buchanan. Oh, that was like a car crash. And the puck's booted away. Let's see what the officials are calling. The penalty's called, and right away, the penalty killers stand up. They know the job is theirs to keep this game at a one-goal deficit. Gonchar's aware he's got more ice to work with on this power play here. This could be a great time for him to try using his zone ability and maybe even help the team put one past the goalie. The Canadians take possession off the faceoff. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The Canadians will serve two for delay a game as that puck goes into the crowd. The Penguins with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. Hey, they say greed is good. Get one, get two on a five-on-three power play. Made that stop. Well, goalie had to be sharp there, James. That's a top-notch chance right in the middle. The ice. Stahl's relied upon to win possession, so it's something he practices often. You know, his quick-draw zone ability means he's a good competitor in the face-off dot, guys. Stahl's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Came up with the save on that play. No rebound there. You want the puck? Go get it in the corner. The goalie's turned it aside. Here's the chance to set up now. Takes the pass. Denies him with the pad. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. And another consecutive save. Goalie coaches are always working on following and tracking the puck. He stops one. Now you got to stop the second. Kostinson's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Locks it down in front. Goalie plays it up. Looks for breakout options behind his own cage. Crosby's picking up steam. The Canadians will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Plays the body into that play. The Penguins gain control of the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Malkin. And he takes the pass. And a solid save there as we play on. Drives to the paint. Big save in front. Smothered that in close chance. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Crosby's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And they send it down the ice. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Nice zone entry from the middle. Quick feed to Malkin. Here's a chance! Makes the save! Cool and calm under pressure! Here's a blast! Scores! And there it is! The power play goal lights the lamp! The 
movement on the power plays all to try and find a clean lane to the net. Takes a little time, they're patient, and when they get it, the shooter delivers this puck and somehow doesn't touch a thing through the traffic, through the screen, and into the net. Stalls one possession. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Centering pass, and he denies that great opportunity there. Can't make the connection on the pass. Price isn't going to get a breather anytime tonight, it doesn't look like. Shot after shot, and he continues to turn them aside. Tosses it on to Stahl. The Canadians kill off the penalty. Got to give their shorthanded unit a lot of credit. I like the work the penalty killers did there. The power play at times looked dangerous, but they didn't give up anything. And the power play is now over. Here's a short pass to Lang. Oh, a clutch save! Flurry's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. And he takes the feed. And that carries off a stick. Well, this has been a fun one here tonight. Great energy here in the building as well. We'll get a fresh sheet of ice and come back with period number three in moments. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Final frame is underway here. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Montreal's been shaking their head for about an hour as they keep watching this goalie kick one shot after another out of the way. What a tremendous goaltending performance, but you've got to find a way to break through that. We're still in the early stages of this period. Pittsburgh's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Hammers the shot! Gets a glove on it to make the stop! Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. Pittsburgh's got it in the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Crosby. Sends it over to Koibu. From the right side, they gain the zone. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Nice feed. Big play inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Koibu. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. And that's poked away. Feeds it across the ice to Tange. Takes the feed. The Canadians played along the boards. Quick pass to Lang. Takes that pass back at the point. And that banks off a stick. Now he takes it over the line. Keeps hold of the puck. Reaches out and uses the stick. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Flurry's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. The Penguins win it in the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Oh, that's the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Here we go, on man rush here. They fight for it along the boards. And the puck's knocked loose. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And it's a quick pass to Malkin. And that pass doesn't go. Lekanitz has crossed the line and gained the zone. Shot! He doesn't need much room here to be able to put this puck onto the tape. He's got this ability to find the open player and then make that pass perfect so it can be received. The Canadians have got a big one here in the third now. Well, you've got to be careful that the clock melts away fast on you, but now they've got a chance. 
Grabs the puck at center. Handles the pass. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Moves it to Stahl. Slip feed. The Canadians have it now. Quick feed to D'Agostini. The Penguins pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Kills got it in the defensive end. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Feeds it over on the rush. Denies him in close. He anticipates that pass perfectly. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Georges walks the line. And now it's over to Brisebois. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Here's a short pass to LaPierre. Puck can walk in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Higgins. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. The Penguins are in transition. The Canadians will play the puck from behind the net. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. The Canadians will play it in their own end. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Maintains possession. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Kostopoulos. Steps across the blue line. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. The Penguins gain control of it. Montreal's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves it to Talbot. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And now he moves it to Kunitz. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Quick feed to Tange. Scores! Scores! Must get to a stage in the game where you think they're not going to be able to find the equalizer. But they stay at it, and they get it done. It's like a one-man distribution center. Get open, and it's right on your tape. Montreal's got a little mojo back on their step after that goal here in the third. You work and you try and keep yourself light, you keep yourself aggressive, but if nothing happens for you, it gets pretty heavy. They feel good now. The pass to Donchon. The Penguins take the puck through the neutral zone. Taking it from his own end. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in the open ice. With possession along the wall. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lang. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Here's a short pass to Markov. Gets it over to Lang. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. Scores! The pinball type goal! That would be a perfectly placed shot. It hits the inside of the goal post and into the net. Oh, this shot beats him clean here, but he doesn't see it. I think he's got to work a little harder. There's only one person in front of the net. He shouldn't be screened so completely. Pittsburgh's gone up by one in this third period. Do you attack or do you sit back? Well, for me, it's always to attack. At least don't be conservative yet. Too much time left. Puck grab by Schneider. The Canadians take it along the wall. Pass broken up. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Passes it to Schneider. Montreal's moving it along the wing. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Moves it 
it quickly over to Fedotenko. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. The Canadians have it in the offensive zone. Receive that thing. It's right in the middle of the blade, flat and crisp. Off they go. The Canadians have evened things up late in the third. Does this change strategies now? Oh, for sure it does. Coaches will shorten this bench right down. You might see players going every second shift on the way down the stretch. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Cook stick handling in his own zone. And now he angles it across to Stahl. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Koivu. Kills got the puck in his own zone. Sends the pass over. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the boards. Gives them nothing in front. Who had the edge in Carlin Bates' mind? She's standing out in this one guys he's been working hard and even got rewarded with the offense back to you guys moves the puck great reach with the poke check the canadians get a hold of the puck along the boards from a tight angle throws it on net and that brings an end to the third period. We are still tied, and that means overtime is looming in moments. Who'll be the hero? Will there be a zero? Overtime, set to go. Handles the puck. Moves it to Kobe. Can't find his man. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Malkin. Across the line. Nice poke check. And now he tries to get it across to Markov. Cross ice pass. Picked off by Crosby. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Malkin. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Scoops up the puck here. And he takes the feed. Two on one, what an opportunity here. Pittsburgh's moving it up the ice. Makes a move in front. Stopped by the goaltender. He really gets a lot of torque on that snapshot. Leans into this shot and forces the goalie to be sharp as he's moving while he shoots it. From the open ice, they gain the line. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Into the offensive zone. Centering feed. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Picked up along the wall by Latang. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Shot! Oh, what a stop by Flurry! Still anyone's game as we approach the final minute of overtime. The Canadians have it against the wall. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Not able to connect. Makes a save! Flurry's on top of that one for a whistle. Little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Talbot's won the face-off. Pittsburgh's got it against the boards. 
Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Kostitsin's got it against the boards. Game on a stick, and he keeps it alive. What a stop. Talbot's lugging the puck. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Slides it quickly to Bukhanis. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Puts it on net, and that goes off course off a body.